Hi everyone, this is For the Love of Comics, and in today's episode, we're spotlighting Jimmy Corrigan, the smartest kid in the world, the comics opus by Chris Ware. We'll be asking, what is Jimmy Corrigan? What's it about? And what makes it so very special? And special it is. Jimmy Corrigan is one of the most admired, most awarded, and most discussed of modern comics. And our meager highlighting of it will not get close to the praise that it deserves, and has already received. Still, this is the comic that snapped my eyes open fully and finally after decades of comics reading to what comics are capable of. And I'm sure that's the case for many readers. So here we go with what is Jimmy Corrigan? Jimmy Corrigan, The Smartest Kid in the World, is a novel-length comics work that is actually a collection of separate pieces published over five or six years in various periodicals, including in Chris Ware's own comic series, The Acme Novelty Company. And in spite of its newspaper strip or magazine strip style origins, I feel that Jimmy works best as a collected novel, which allows its scope, its ambition, and its evolution over the years to come across as a single densely packed and layered story. This book tells the story of Jimmy Corrigan, a man in his mid to late 30s living in contemporary Chicago. He's a sad and lonely, slightly pathetic man who is trapped in an almost childlike mental state due to an overbearing mother, a life full of disappointment, frustration and loss, a generic mindless job and a lack of social skills. Jimmy, in the midst of his drab life, receives a letter from his father, someone he has never met, someone who abandoned his family many years ago. His father wants to reconcile and sends Jimmy a ticket to come visit him. This trip that Jimmy undertakes is a depressing, disappointing and uncomfortable one from the start, but it is nevertheless illuminating and may lead Jimmy and us readers to different understandings of the lives in front of us. But this book is also the story of Jimmy's grandfather, James Corrigan, who came to Chicago go as a small child in the 1890s with his father for the Columbian Exposition. Young James was abandoned at that time by his father who left him at the exposition and never came back for him. The stories of these two Jay Corrigans, separated by almost a hundred years, run parallel to each other through the book, flipping and switching between the past and the present, offering us tiny vignettes and separated scenes that build together like a collage to give us the story of this family. The tragedy and loss and the way that parental absence or presence does damage across the generations is one of the central themes of this book. But what makes it spectacular instead of cliché is the way that Chris Ware uses realistic storytelling, precise art, balanced colors and above all a sense of immaculate formal design to lay out a truly unique narrative for the reader. Jimmy Corrigan has been hailed as one of the greatest comics of all time by many people. In fact, it's been part of numerous lists of best books of the year or best books of the decade, ignoring the comics and graphic novel categorization altogether. Much like classics like Mouse, Fun Home, Watchmen, Palestine, Jimmy Corrigan succeeds in creating a new literature that is as dense, as meaningful, and as deep as any literature that precedes it. A big part of this is Chris Ware's incredible sense of page design. He has said in numerous interviews that for him, the fundamental unit of a comic is not the panel, but the page. And you can see this in practice throughout this book. Page after page lays out the mood, the pace, the realism or abstraction of the story. We first see the whole layout and appreciate the size of the panels, the color palette, the flow. Even if your eye wanders outside the order, as it will always when reading a comic, every page or set of pages gives you a different syntax or grammar, teaching you how to first receive the whole and then go into examining the details and the sequence. The level of detail is extraordinary, foremost in the architectural perfection of the art, and not just in the buildings and physical objects, but also in the panel sizes and the framing of people within the panels, who are often obscured or amputated to heighten the sense of disconnection. There are also themes and motifs that keep repeating or are referenced over and over. A bird, Superman, a phone, a chair, all work one way, then another, all while making the sense of inhabiting this world a more poetic one. The text is also dense, but in a different way. Chris Ware does amazing things with caption boxes and narration that is sometimes very close to the characters and sometimes very far above and all-seeing. 
At the same time, much of this book is about inabilities to communicate. So there's another balance between long silences, tilted exchanges, and everyday speech that betrays us to others. Ware even uses typography and placement to make small phrases feel full. The balancing of half a dozen types of text is as much an achievement, I think, as his immaculate drawings and layouts are. Chris Ware achieves something beyond just making you feel melancholy. He illustrates life in a new and keenly observed way with fragments of story contained in both tiny images and large ones. Every image, no matter how inconsequential it may seem, contributes to that life illustration, which is not so much a documentary as it is a poem. Uh, one final note, I don't want to give the sense that this is a depressing book. It's certainly sad, and a sense of hopelessness does fill many of its pages. Perhaps uh, the most memorable sequences, even when funny in many ways, are sad ones. But there are sparks of hope and joy. Uh, there are bits of happiness that are so pure and so unexpected that they truly balance out the story for me. Even the very end, in my personal reading of it, is tinged with hope and possibility. So there you have it, our little celebration of Jimmy Corrigan, The Smartest Kid in the World by Chris Ware. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe and click on that little bell to be notified of new uploads. I'd also love to have your comments and questions below. I might do another Chris Ware video. Let me uh, know if you'd like that. This has been For the Love of Comics, and as always, thank you for watching.